Today I will be meeting some of the biggest football stars in the world. And for every player I meet, I will have to complete a challenge. My goal by the end of the video is to create my dream ultimate team from the players I meet. But there's a twist. If I don't get at least an 88 rated team, I will have to give 100,000 FIFA points to one of you guys. And make sure to stay to the end as I went head to head against Neymar Jr. in a crazy challenge. The first player I was going to be meeting was Real Madrid superstar Jude Bellingham. But there was only one problem. He was a hundred miles away from me. So I had to get a train to his hometown Birmingham where I was going to be meeting him. And after a long journey, there he was. And he even wished me good luck for the challenge. And to earn Jude Bellingham's team of the year card, my first challenge was to recreate his iconic goal against Barcelona. On my first attempt, I didn't take the best first touch. But I took a good second touch and it was a great strike. But it came off the crossbar. My second attempt was a much better first touch. And I set myself up nicely for another great shot. But, but once again, it was just over. But then, on my third attempt, it was the perfect touch. I took the ball at my feet and I hit a crazy strike into the top corner. It was the perfect strike. With the challenge being complete, we now welcome Team of the Year Jude Bellingham into our ultimate team. It was a very good start. The next player we went to meet is an icon card. We had to fly to Saudi Arabia for even a chance to meet this legend. As the player we were meeting was none other than Liverpool legend and FC icon Steven Gerrard, a Premier League legend. As Steven Gerrard was one of the best passes in football history, to earn his icon card we had to complete a crazy passing challenge. Across the pitch there are 5 different targets I had to pass into. I needed to complete 4 out of 5 successful passes in order to complete this challenge. I started very well with a lovely lofted pass into the first target. Then for the second target I hit a great driven pass to make it 2 out of 2. It was the perfect start. Then I hit a Gerard classic with a perfect pass into the third target. I was on fire. At this point I felt unstoppable. Every shot was going in. But I got humbled very quickly after after an awful fourth attempt. It all came down to my final attempt. The furthest shot yet. I had a long run up to get enough power and it was a huge kick. But did we manage to hit the target? The answer is yes. And that only meant one thing. We welcomed icon Steven Gerrard into our ultimate team. Next up, we needed a goalkeeper in our team. And lucky for me, I got to meet England and Everton goalkeeper, Jordan Pickford. The challenge was simple. All I had to do was score a penalty against Jordan Pickford. I stepped up to take the penalty and I took the worst penalty ever. Meaning Pickford was not entering the team. But luckily for me, we had another professional goalkeeper we were meeting. Leeds and France goalkeeper, Ila Melier. And the challenge was the same. I stepped up to take the penalty and this time I buried it into the top corner. I couldn't believe it. And more importantly, we now had a goalkeeper for our ultimate team. This next player was not only my idol growing up, but he is one of the best players in the world. And to meet him, we had to fly to another country and sneak into his club stadium. As we found out, he was going to be there at a press conference. And after traveling over 4,000 miles, there he was, the man himself, Cristiano Ronaldo. And to earn Ronaldo's 91 rated card, I will have to recreate his best ever goal. His overhead kick against Juventus. And I only had five attempts. And in my first attempt, I had a good technique, but it was a poor finish in the end. My second attempt was great technique and a great strike, but it was a good save from the keeper. My next attempt was a good jump and almost a perfect recreation. But it was another save from the keeper. I was worried this goal was going to be too hard to recreate. But then, on my fourth attempt, I had a great technique and I hit the best overhead kick I have ever hit in my life. I couldn't believe it. And most importantly, 91 rated Cristiano Ronaldo was now joining our team. The next player we were meeting was a Manchester United player. And me being a Manchester United fan, I couldn't believe I I got to meet Manchester United defender Rafael Varane, one of the best defenders in the world. To earn 88 rated Thunderstruck Rafael Varane, I had to be a semi-professional footballer in a 1v1. I had to tackle Ade in at least 2 out of 3 1v1. On the first attempt, I played a quick ball into Ade, he controlled it well, he cut in and out and then slotted the ball into the bottom corner. He absolutely embarrassed me. I couldn't believe it. The second 1v1, I was coming for revenge. Ade started with some 
lovely footwork, but I didn't dive in. He tried the same move again, but this time I read it and made a good tackle. It all came down to the final attempt. I had to win this 1v1 in order to get Varane in my team. Ade started slower than usual and I was making sure not to commit. But then the ball slipped under Ade's feet and I booted the ball away. This was a huge signing for my team and our first centre-back entered the squad. I now had the chance to meet two Arsenal players, with the first one being ex-Arsenal captain Granit Xhaka. And to earn Xhaka's card, I went up against Xhaka himself in a penalty challenge. Xhaka was up first and he absolutely smashed the ball into the bottom left corner. I was up next and I hit a no-look penalty into the top corner. The score was 1-1 after round one. Xhaka was up next and he smashed the ball against the right post. This was now my chance to go ahead. And for my second penalty, I absolutely smashed the ball against the crossbar. We both missed our second penalties. And for Xhaka's final attempt, he smashed it wide i couldn't believe it it now all came down to me and for my penalty i hit the worst penalty ever but luckily for me the final score was a draw meaning Xhaka could still join our team we still needed a strike partner next to ronaldo and who better than an actual teammate of ronaldo i received exclusive access to go to al nasser's press conference and at the press conference was ronaldo's teammate and liverpool legend sadio mane after getting a picture with mane i had to complete a difficult challenge to earn 89 rated Sadio Mane. Mane is best known for his pace and dribbling. So for this challenge, I went head to head against Ade. Whoever dribbled through the cones and took the shot in the quickest time wins. And scoring a goal took two seconds off our overall time. Ade was up first and he had very quick feet and he was even showing off. And after a quick dribble around the cones, he was through on goal. But a brilliant save from the keeper meant he didn't get the minus two from his overall score. Leaving him with a final time of 8.26 seconds. I was up next and I started on fire. I was dribbling through the cones and I was already through on goal and I smashed the ball past the keeper giving me a minus two from my overall score and after a time of 4.43 seconds I destroyed Ade meaning Sadio Mane was joining Ronaldo as a striker it was now time for us to meet our second Arsenal player and it was none other than Arsenal left back Alexander Zinchenko Zinchenko has one of the best first touches in football so to earn 86 rated radioactive Zinchenko I had to complete the ultimate touch test the ball would get played into me and I had one touch to control it in the square. I had to get at least three out of five successful attempts. Attempt one, the ball was lofted into me and I took the perfect touch. It was a great start. My second attempt, I tried to name our touch, but it didn't oh. quite go to plan. <laughs> My third attempt, I went for the Neymar touch again, and this time I was so close, but it was just out. My fourth attempt, I played it safe with a nice chest touch. It all came down to the final touch. And on my fifth attempt, I ended it with a lovely touch in the square. With three out of five successful touches, our second defender was now in the team. The next player I went to meet was ex-England and Liverpool captain, Jordan Henderson. As Henderson is a box-to-box -box midfielder, this challenge was simple. A race from one box to another. If I win, 85 rated Henderson joins the team. Ade was a sprinter at national level, so I wasn't confident going into the race. The race began and in the first few seconds, Ade was already ahead of me. I could not keep up with Ade, but I had a trick under my sleeve to overtake him. And somehow I overtook Ade in the last few seconds to sprint to the finish line and beat him in the race. And after a questionable win, Jordan Henderson joins our team. The first player with 5 star skills I was meeting was Brazilian legend Anderson Talisca. To earn his 88 rated card, it was another 1v1, but this time there was a twist. For this we're doing another 1v1, but the twist is I have to do a 5 star skill against Ade. I've got 3 attempts, but I only need 1. Little did Ade know what was coming his way as I drove at him and I did a rainbow Neymar flick. And then I went on to score one of the craziest front flip goals ever. With Talisca in the team, there was one more Brazilian player left. With the team's current rating only being 87 rated, I needed a huge player to make it 88. So first things first, we're in London, we need to get to Paris. So I'm going to see you guys in Paris. So I travelled 300 miles all the way to France to meet the one and only Neymar Jr. I will be going head to head in a crazy obstacle course against Neymar Jr. Which will test our dribbling, passing and shooting. This was going to be the hardest challenge yet as I was against one of the best players in the world. The obstacle course began and straight away you could see how much faster Neymar was than me. He went through the cones with ease. 
Neymar was already at the passing level and I just couldn't keep up with him. Final stage was a shooting level. We both had a target we had to hit. Neymar was up first and of course he hit the target. It was my turn to hit the target but I missed, meaning I had failed the challenge. As we didn't get Neymar, my overall team rating was only 87, meaning I had failed. Make sure to like this video and follow me on Instagram where I will be announcing the winner of the 100,000 FIFA points.